you haven't had Jimmy Garoppolo on the practice field the last two days, so how has Trey Lance looked, uh, and how has he come along in the last couple months? Um, I think Trey's are good. Um, the last couple months, I think that there's been uh, a huge improvement. So, like, everything that you guys saw in camp, I think he's been way better than that. Uh, he just looks more mature in the pocket. I think I saw uh, Fred Warner said that he's, like, not relying on his legs to make plays. And he's, like, sitting in the pocket and he's reading it a little bit more and he's, like, taking a little bit more chances in the pocket, which, I, I mean, I agree with him. Um, he's not just, hey, he sees a flash of color. He kind of shifts in the pocket and he still is able to deliver a ball. And, uh, you know, that's what you want to see. I mean, he's definitely improved in the last several weeks. Hey, George, during the uh, game last week, did you have any idea of the severity of um, – Jimmy's injury, or did, or at least did he, did he show to you that he was, you know, kind of seriously injured? Oh, I n noticed him playing with his thumb, and you know, whenever you look on the sideline and someone's fidgeting with something, you know that there's an issue. But no, other than that, he didn't complain about it. He didn't bring it up to anybody, and uh, he just went out there and continued to play, and I think led us on a 94-yard touchdown drive to tie the game. So I think he was doing all right. George, what are some qualities you've seen from Trey just in terms of, of leadership since training camp? I know my camera's off and you hate that, and I apologize. But It's not very um, fair. <laughs> but what are, what are some of these leadership qualities that you saw when he got to camp and kind of how they've improved um, just in terms of in the, in the huddle, et cetera? I know you're in practice, but. Um, I mean, I think leadership-wise, I think all that Trey's showing is that he works really hard. He leads by example. I mean, he's not really a rah-rah guy yet. He's still a rookie, you know, and he's still, you know, finding his footing. But um, I think he just leads by example. He works really hard. You can tell how much he cares about the game. You can tell about his passion for it, his love for the game. And, uh, you know, whether that's inspiring or motivating, um, I kind of think it's a little bit of both. But you can just tell how much work he puts into it. And, you know, with that um, and then just the fact of being a quarterback, you just kind of have that leadership quality. And he's not he's definitely not shying away from it. And, uh, you know, he speaks his voice when he needs to. And, um, you know, that's about it. I think he's done a really good job so far. Are you guys going to ask me anything other than Trey and Jimmy questions? I, I'm going to ask you something a little different, George. Uh, a little different? Come on. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, we're, we're back on Zoom here, obviously. I, I, I know Kyle, Kyle was saying the other day that you guys started separating again and doing Zoom meetings uh, mm -hmm. virtually and things like that. Uh, how how much are you as a leader of the team taking on yourself to you know let guys know hey this we got to really bear down here especially when it comes to COVID over the next few weeks to to try to avoid it because you've done such a, a good job so far. Um, I mean I think our, our like our leadership council like the guys leaders from each position have done a good job in their rooms but uh, I think Kyle's done a fantastic job you know every team meeting um, really this whole year we've talked about it guys have been on top of it uh, but I mean these last two three weeks I think Kyle's done a great job of. Um, explaining the importance of it and the severity of like the consequences of it. Um, and he's made it really realistic to people like, Hey, like if this happens and you're out, like we're kind of screwed. And I think like the Texans were missing 20 guys or something like that last week. And uh, a lot of teams have been missing a bunch of guys. And so we've been very fortunate to only have one positive test. Um, but I think, you know, this team, I think they've done a really, really good job. I think I know our, our goal is more important than, you know, what you do every single day. And, I think also the fact that you know our team lets family members get tested, and, you know whenever you want to get them tested. So if they fly in or something, want to come see you, uh, you know it's awesome. You know like my family flies in, I get them tested, and then they go stay at the hotel. And you know like you want to see them and everything. But you know, at the end of the day, we have a max of like six more weeks of football, maybe seven. I don't really know off the top of my head. But I mean uh, everything else can kind of wait if you know your end goal is to play in February. George, what what strikes you about the the Houston Texans defense, and um, in terms of your guys' running game, what do you like uh, matched up against it? My favorite thing about the Texans defense is that they got three of my former teammates at Iowa, you know, with Jaleel Johnson, Desmond King, and uh, uh, Kirksey. So I'm excited to I'm excited to play with all of them. Desmond and Jaleel I graduated with, so fun to see that. And Kirksey, I remember my freshman year at Iowa used to just throw me to the ground all the time. So you know, a little payback there. See you later, Kirks. Um, but I'm excited to see them. Uh, but just really their defense, I think they do a fantastic job of they just fly around to the football and they create so many turnovers. Um, you know, they are just they're always around the ball. They're always punching for the football. Um, and like one of the things they do a really good job of their D line. And like if, if they get a ball like over the linebackers or something, their whole team chases the ball down. Um, like there's always people coming up behind trying to punch the ball out. 
and you, you know you just can't have that you know we've always said that turnovers have been like kind of our kryptonite the thing that keeps us our offense from being able to be what it should be and so you know that's you know one thing we're definitely focused on is these guys are good at getting the ball out and it's the reason you know they've had what multiple games where they've had five turnovers and that's kind of wild uh it's very impressive so you know look to limit those things and just kind of play our football and then in the run game uh you know i'm expecting us to go out there and just play niner football you know i there's not a lot of teams i think that run the ball like we do um, especially the way our whole team blocks, you know, running off the football, our wide receivers, the way they get in there and grind. Um, I don't think there's a lot of teams like it. And so I'm looking forward to see how they respond to us. But I'm more uh, more just excited to see us back on the back on the field running the football. We'll do two more, guys. That's it, Pete. Thank you so much. Hey, George. Well, no, next. You don't have your – Sorry. No camera? Like, I made I an know. exception for Tracy. Why don't I get an exception? I get one exception a day. Yeah, well. So okay. Do I. Well, hello, Jennifer. All right. Hi. Hi. It's been a long time since we've been in the locker room. What's the vibe like? A couple of your teammates have said that there's a playoff mentality going on in there. What is it like in the locker room now? I think it's been really great, um, especially I mean, the last seven weeks. I think it's just you can kind of just feel the confidence has increased every single week. I think, you know, our team has continually played better. I know we've lost, uh, you know, two games that we wish we wouldn't have lost. But I still think, you know, guys have made plays. And, you know, I think the confidence of the team uh, has definitely continued and continued and continued to climb. And you can kind of just feel that energy and that buzz throughout the locker room. Um, you know, we got, we got great guys in there. We got colorful people in there. They, you know, like bring the energy every single day. Uh, you know, from Debo to Arden, uh, you know, Trent Williams. You know, we, we have a lot of guys in there that, you know, bring the energy. And, you know, when you have leaders of a team that bring the energy, all the other guys match that energy. And I think, you know, I think we had a good practice today. Guys were flying around. I thought we looked good yesterday too. So, you know, I think we are continuing to get better. And, you know, in the NFL, like if you play with confidence, you, you know, have a pretty good chance of winning. Earthquake. Hey, uh, George, you were not targeted with a pass in the final 46 minutes against the Titans. That's highly, unu highly unusual. Um, did, um, you know, is that right? A thing where you tip the, your cap to the defense. I'm sure a lot went in, into why that was, but you know, is part of it like, hey, I should have done this. I should have that. I mean, do you, do you think? Do you look at that and say, hey, I I should have been doing some, something better. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's football. Uh, I mean, I've games I've been targeted 15 times. I've games that I've been targeted one time. Just kind of is the way that it is. Would I prefer to be targeted more? Sure. Uh, you know, I love getting the ball in my hands. I love rumbling and bumbling and stumbling. Uh, you know, it just isn't the way that it turned out. You know, whether it was, you know, just concepts we were running or, you know, they had a good pass rush, they had a good game plan in. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of things that go into it from coverage-wise to routes to, yeah, there's obviously a couple things I think I could have done better. Um, but, you know, at the same time, my confidence always says throw it, whether there's two or three guys, I don't really care. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and the good news is it's been way past 24 hours, kind of over that one. But, you know, I had an opportunity this week to go out there and, uh, you know, bust some heads, and I can't wait for it.